Welcome to the 2024 Virginia Tech Spring Football Game. You are watching the ACC at its back, whether it's kickoffs or field goals. And we will indeed have a touchback to start today's game. Look at that. Thomas going to throw it. Little tricky. Starting things off. So he has no problem running it or throwing it. Here's Drones. Dumping it off to Turner Bradshaw. This guy's got a lot of speed. And he's... A rollout throw for Drones, and he delivers it again, two for two to start the game, and that was Lovett that made the play. They're really concerned about the tech. On short yardage, there's Thomas, and he's got the first down ahead to the 40-yard line where Tyler Chin in front of him, and he had somewhat of a rough day. This year, good O-line, good protection, and a deep shot for Turner Bradshaw left side, and it's going to be intercepted in the end zone. He's caught a pass. He's thrown a pass on this possession. Quarterback run, no. They flip it nicely done, but Thomas can't hang on over there. Particularly those quarterbacks. Watson's first throw, nicely done to Jennings. And that'll be a first down on a gain of about 17 to all. From the 38, they roll the pocket again for Pop, again to Jennings. Same guys, and Ali stepped out of bounds inside the third. In that wide receiver position. Watson's thrown the ball with confidence. That one's batted in the air, and it is intercepted. It was deflected and tipped. I think it was Burgos that got a hand on it. Indianapolis, Maryland. And with Drones back at quarterback, high hopes for this team. And this is what Drones can do. Look at him run. Again, if he gets tagged just with a hand, he's a fish. Because uh, he's elusive. They give him the ball again in a huge hole. There goes Prelo, and he'll score. <laughs> Kyle Lowe in to attempt the extra point for the Maroon team. And our first scoring Prelo play at Virginia Tech. His father was, a, at the time, all Big East Conference defensive back. Prelo's just a great athlete. Heating guys, outworking guys, and I tell you what, he's really done a great job. Oh, there you go. Another big run. We need run. to get that this much Coney. defense back. Coney, <laughs> another young freshman. Well, he saw Prelo. I've watched a majority of the spring practices um, this year, and we just got a lot of competition. And no more than this quarterback spot. I really I tell you what, I, I like. Uh, That's little Gilliam and, and, and Peebles from Duke and Copeland come in experienced guys in the portal that have played you know he had a uh, he was with uh, Derek Jones at Duke so there was a relationship there and we're still in a relationship driven business you know yeah. and uh, I like what his what he's doing and how he's coming along and, you know in a short period of time but uh, I'm excited I mean every day there's competition yards rushing uh, a big piece of it drones flips it off to Thomas gets a nice block and has a huge hole Look at the speed of Ming. Inside the 30, and what a tremendous great play. The initial block was thrown by a newcomer at Virginia Tech and one of the biggest guys on the team. There's a quick flip over here to Prelo. He needs to get to the 14-yard line. That snaps a bit high. What a tremendous shift by Prelo. It will be first and goal. Boy, he showed it. have a quick little shift yeah. like that. Drones to the end zone for the touchdown. Nicely done. Kyron gets his first touchdown pass. Oh, you know, like managing the game, knowing uh, you know down distance where you are in the field. Drones to the left. You have you know you have a receiver underneath. You have a receiver in the corner. You give him two options. So Drones and his team up 14 nothing from the 30. Prelo, who's been one of the stars today. Gets a good first down run. of Jet sweep, screen passes uh, that you can utilize in many ways. They're going to throw him the ball again. Nice catch. Prelo inside the 10. Does he score? You bet. Touchdown. P.J. Prelo with his in game. Kyle Lowe adds the extra point, and it is a 20. 
Let's see what Watson and the Orange team could do now, trailing 21-0 late in the first. They start on the ground. That is... Watson looked left, rolls right, and that'll go down simply as a sack. And, you know, the nation in sacks. Yeah. She wants that type of defensive front. They had that at Penn State uh, when he was up there. Mitchell on the screen gets the first. Maroon team's up 21-0. Coming up in a minute, we'll be visiting with the Hokies head coach, Brent Pry. There's the fifth sack of this game. That's Jason Abbey. Let me tell you, both those guys had really good springs for us. Here's a deep shot. They're going to call that a sack. Whitkey tried yeah. to throw it deep. Both the Maroon team does now. Good throw to Thomas. Stays on his feet, and he's near the first down. You know, Malachi had a ball. Guy's playing. He got it. He does have the first down. Good run. Good run. Coach, see it just what we've seen so far today. Whitkey in the air. Nice leaping grab by Green. Yeah. yeah nice. Staying away from. Uh, You're staying away from those turkey legs like buffets. that. From the buffets, yeah. Yeah. Here's Dylan Whitkey. Gets rid of it. No, he got tapped on the shoulder, and that negates a good throw to Green. Player this spring at that wide receiver position. Whitkey throws it short to Mason again. The ball's on the ground. They're going to rule it a catch and a fumble on the play. While on his face. It's been a while since the Hokies have had a key guy from Blacksburg High School. Here's Watson, and that'll go as a sack again. He got tapped. Second half, we'll have a running clock for two 12-minute quarters. Watson throws that one a bit high. That is Heath with the catch and a pickup. Instinct talent, as you said, Bill. Third and 15 for Watson. Flips it to the right. Good open field tackle. They got practice at Virginia Tech. And a ton of competition there to get on the field, and that's going to make that group all that much better. Heath on fourth down. He's going to make the catch and for 82 yards, trying to get the Orange team on the board late in the second quarter. Here is Coney, the freshman from Richmond. Got ahead for a couple. Pretty well. From the 26, Coney slipped. He might have taken that a lot farther, but he's right near the... Let's see what Pop can do. To the air, and it's caught by Jennings. And he's got another first down. It'll be first and goal for the Orange. Big hit right up the gut. What a sensational play by... That's exactly what Jeanette did. Good job by Coney to hang on to the ball. Now Watson on the move, and he is ruled down on the one. That would have been a touchdown. Yeah, they're going to get him to score, and that's the right thing to do. It's it. So, so good job, ask, what's the difference between Pop Watson and Dylan Whitkey that are both fighting for this backup job? Well, right there, Pop Watson's more elusive. He John Love adds the extra point, and the orange team. Still oriented. Really excited about Monster Delay. A lot of folks that are Hokie fans in Charlotte are familiar with uh, Quentin Reddish, who's from Independence. Right, they can play corner at 6'2". Yes, indeed. He can run. He comes from a great family, too. His, uh, both of his older brothers played uh, played Division One football. Um, the, the one and, and, you know, the guys that were freshmen that played a lot last year have clearly improved, and the, the mid-year enrollees and the freshmen like Reddish really look good for uh, Marv on the defense. Well, for Coach Pry to make sure... He kept him on this staff. Watson throws that one away. It'll be fourth down with here at Virginia Tech Athletics. Nice to see you, man. Bill, it's great to see you as well, man. It's an honor to be up here with uh, two legends. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I appreciate that. it. Hey, we're excited to have you here. And I former players from the fans, like it's all there. The expectation um, that we have um, for the team this year is something that. Third down, let's see what this offense can do here. Coney has a bit of a seam. Another good tackle. On late 90s to become the player you did. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I knew I was a football player at that time. I think with many young players, you get focused on the field, even with all of the distractions that they have off the field, we're seeing guys who want to work and want to get better. And uh ooh. That's a big hit to play Clemson tonight. Absolutely. I think it's great to see, once again, 
the product that we're putting on the field and the way Coach Pry has. Clearly, he bleeds orange and maroon. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, we've got a lot of guys who, who do really well, and I, I try to get the opportunities to speak with them when I can and just continue to. As a rally, Jackson Sigler is in the game at quarterback, and he's going to throw a deep one, and it is going to be rule to catch. Orange team, you know, Reini, they were down 21 nothing. They're trying to make this a one-score game, and that is a touchdown. Here comes the Traylon Mitchell out of Middlesex North. And the PAT is good. Here's the play again, again, Ben. I know the Hokie fans are excited just to make that Nashville trip the start. It's been a while since Tech has played in Nashville. Penalty marker on the play. That's just the second. Stafford, Virginia, number 15 in white. And he throws that behind his intended receiver. He's going to play Cal. Well, when you add three new teams, you know, it was just two years ago that the ACC came out. Yeah, the ACC has done a nice job with that schedule. It's not easy, right? You're adding teams from the West Coast, and but they've done an excellent job in, in scheduling it. That'll go as a sack. As sig Part of good give and take on both sides of the ball. We've had a good understanding of what's going on. we got a sudden change right now. That's All right, not so a I'm good gonna play. Go. Yeah, we're going to let we you score. go. Uh, but no. Well, Joshua Clark made another big play. Locklear wishes he had that throw back. The amount of experience that you bring back, and not just experience, but productivity, right? You're bringing back guys that put good numbers out last year. So really, coaches are paranoid. That's the one thing I've learned. They don't want to put anything on tape uh, prior to the season. Sigler gets tapped on the backside, and that's going to unfortunately go as a Nashville, Tennessee against the Vanderbilt Commodores. Last time the Hokies played over there, it was way back. For you, just to give you a sense of who has done what. That's a good throw and a catch as Locklear had the interception. Two seconds with a running clock, you can't call timeout or stop the clock. So if they're going to tie this thing, they got to go fast. they got time for maybe one more play. Wimbush is out of bounds. 22 seconds. Can the Orange team, they got to get it in the end zone here. And that might be the final play. They're going to have to really hurry with 12 seconds. Get it off in time. There's the snap. Locklear going to throw it to the end zone. And it's incomplete. Well, it came down to a dramatic finish nonetheless. Clock. Yeah, it was a great job to get two plays off like that and get that ball snap in one second. You know Coach Pride loves that. And 